What's good, everybody? It's Eagle Access here. I'm Amari Collins, co-host. I'm Clark Tanner. I'm DeAtron Sutton. And this is our first episode of Eagle Access. Um, basically, on this this episode, it's a lot. Uh, we it's had a like, whole week of welcome. Week of well, we got 1040 braids. Training day. Pennant ceremony. Move in. Mm, it's a lot, but we ain't even we ain't even gonna tell y'all. No, just sit back and watch. Just sit back and watch. Grab some popcorn. Okay, okay. popcorn. Okay. 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 We are moving. Just watch. Yeah. Okay. Good morning. It's Amari Collins, the man with the plan, live on Eagle Access, and we're here covering the freshman move in. Everyone is here to ensure that these new students understand the energy and the pride that we have in our great institution. They are welcomed in the right way so they get off to a wonderful start and that's what it's really all about. There are two great times on the college campus. There's today and then there's graduation. And so what we want to make sure happens is that we set the right tone today so that all the activities that need to occur in the next four years will and occur so that they graduate on time and they go off and be these wonderful leaders we know that they're going to be. Amari well, Collins here on Eagle Access, live in Chitley North on Freshman Move-In. We have Ms. Jasmine Carver over here. So Jasmine, quick question. Can you tell us about your experience of moving in today and the life journey you will embark on um, in the college experience? Moving day was very tiring, I must say that, but I'm ready. I'm, like, I'm really ready to get out of my house, so I'm glad I'm here right now. Very <laughs> ready. <laughs> So, I mean, that's that's always for a freshman. I was ready to move in um, as well to get out of my mom's house. Um, she's about to embark on college, so can you just elaborate on your feelings for right now? You know, it's a sad time, but it's also a joyous time. You know, uh, I think we provided her, um, the mother and I, with the tools necessary to think independently. And, you know, now she's an eagle now. We're letting her come spread her wings and enjoy the university setting. Um, but, and, you know, I think she'll make great decisions based on the structure that we provided her um, while she was in our household. So we're proud of her and we know she'll do the right thing. It's Amari Collins here live on Eagle Access at the Chancellor's reception. And I have the pleasure to be between two lovely people of this institution, Mr. and Miss North Carolina Central University, Ms. Tania Irwin and Mr. Damari Richmond. So, Damari, what was, I know I've seen you out there, you know, throughout this week, you know. <laughs> what, was your, what was your most favorite event um, in the week of welcome? Um, I must say my favorite event was actually training day last night. We just wrapped up. To me, this was a great experience because it was the first time all of the leadership representatives got to work together and produce something great for our students here at North Carolina Central University and a night they really enjoy and really will impact them for the rest of their experience here. And a question for both of you all, you know, I'll, I'll take turns with you all, but what does it mean, because you just pinned Eagles, what does it mean to actually bring new Eagles into our Eagle family? Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great deal and that's a, that's a big job to do. So what does it mean to you? Well, um, I also serve with Eagle Court Orientation staff, so this will be my third class bringing in here. I brought in 17, no, six, 17, 16, 17, and 18. So it's always a pleasure to kind of watch them grow. I've watched you guys grow. Amari, I brought you in here. And like just to watch you guys come from as, as, as innocent as you guys are, innocent and naive to the world, and watch you guys expand and just to become just young adults, it honestly, it's it's heart wrenching. Like you're a grown little man right now, and it is making me so happy. <laughs> I am so, I am so proud of you guys, <laughs> and I'm excited to see where they go and what they what they accomplish while they're here. Thank you, thank you. So, what does it mean? You know, we have the vet over here. You know, the vet. You know, Miss Miss Pro. So, how does it feel for you? Um, I can say today was a truly an honor to be my senior to actually paint a freshman to know that they're gonna remember that day that DeMar Rich and Mr. North Carolina Central University actually pinned them. It was a special treat to me to know that they can remember something and I was serving in my purpose and what I came here to do. 
Well, there you have it from Mr. and Miss North Carolina Central University live at the Chancellor's Reception. It is Amari Collins with Eagle Access. Thank you. Hi, I'm DeAndre Sutton with Eagle Access, and I'm here with the Bryant family, and I'm here with Courtney Bryant to ask her, how did the pen ceremony go? It was awesome. I'm starting a new chapter in my life, so I'm ready. How did it feel to be pen? It's awesome. <laughs> how do you feel about your daughter being an Eagle? I'm very glad that she chose Central, and she has a good head on her shoulders, and I'm looking forward to seeing what progress she makes. What about you, Mom? I'm just excited. One word, excited. Because she had the house. She had the house now, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. I'm DeAtron Sutton with Eagle Access, and this is the Bryants. What you all are about to see is some of the clips from the NCCU skate night that I had the privilege of hosting. So I know I had a ball. I know they had a ball. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check it out. Collins here on Eagle Access here live at Target Night. Okay. I'm with my man Brian Dawson. Can you just tell a little bit about the Target Night and everything that y'all do every time y'all come out? Well, this is like our fourth year, K97. We come out, support Central, support Target. I got my homie Wade Banner with me. So, you know, we bring the music, bring the energy, man. It's an exciting night. It's good to see some of the freshmen, you know what I'm saying, the new people, some of the sophomores, juniors, and seniors, man. So it's exciting. And are you a Central grad, sir? Well, you might as well say that. I went to summer school here. And I've been around, you know, I grew up in Durham, so Central's always been like a second school to me. I went to school in Ohio. Um, I actually transferred to Central for a semester to play basketball and ended up transferring back. So I'm an honorary Eagle, man. Mr. Honorary Eagle himself, Mr. Brian Dawson, I want to thank you so very much for coming out here and helping out the NCCU Eagles tonight at the Target Out. And this is the Week of Welcome, and this is Eagle Access with Brian Dawson. Thank you so very much. is what did you guys buy? We bought a whole bunch of snacks actually. We bought fudge rounds, Twizzlers, chips, gum, because you always need gum. So can I come by y'all room? Yeah. Okay, sn snack party, snack party. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Miss Clark Tanner here at the first 1040 break of the year. You already know we about to get it popping. It's a more Collins here, live on Eagle Access with Ebony Carter at the first 1040 break. So Ebony. How is 1040 break? And just tell us what it is about. Like, what's, what's, what is 1040 break? Well, um, 1040 break is, you know, we, a break between classes where everybody can listen to music, you know, come together and have a good time. This is the first 1040 break, of the, well, second 1040 break of the year, and it's better than any other 1040 break I've been here in my three years. You heard it. Yeah. Best 1040 break. I think because Eagle Access out here. That's why it's the best. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Yeah. Hi, I'm D.H. from Sutton with Eagle Access, and I'm here with Anthony Linhart, happens to be my best friend, asking him how is the first 1040 break going? The first 1040 break was really popping. As a member of SAB, I think we did a really successful job in planning for 
not only the first 1040 break, but for the rest of the academic school year as well. We had Amped out here. They made pillowcases as well as subway signs. So they, those look really cool. So you might want to check those out, get a few pictures of those. As well as we saw the McDonald's tent, Ninth Wonder came out. He came to speak to us. We had DJs out here. It was just really popping. So I see you did the ALS challenge, which you doing by yourself. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, actually, on behalf uh, on behalf of the Student Activities Board, we got challenged. So then we in return challenged uh, Elizabeth City State uh, Student Activities Board as well. And hopefully they start a little rivalry going, prepare for the first home game of the season. There you have it. I'm D.H. from Sutton. This is Ethan Linhart, my best friend. Okay, my okay. best friend. Shout out to y'all. So are there any kind of activities or anything that you would like to see happen at 1040 break this year, being that it is our last year here? Um, like me, I'm a, a, a young artist. I, I've rap freestyle. So I would like to see like a small little talent segment like every Thursday. It only got to be every Tuesday and Thursday, but every Thursday. And something like just to showcase talent around campus. All right, that is a good idea. And I think Eagle Access might have something coming up for you. So go ahead and stay tuned. This is Clark Tanner, and that's what it is. I'm D.H. and Sutton here at the Ice Cream Social of the LGBTIA QQQ community and I'm here to ask this young lady what did she learn? Well today in this event I learned that it doesn't matter what color you are, what race you are, if you like boys, if you like girls, that it doesn't matter at all. Love is love. And I found out in Maryland I can get married, you know? So what good did you learn about the program that I hosted? I learned that there needs some more positions that need to be filled that I'm trying to be a part of. Secretary, yay! And I also learned that you don't realize how many people are at your school that are in transition or do like different sex or the same sex, so it's really important, so I like it. Thank you, there you have it. Okay, hey, like, look y'all, no hate. No. <laughs> had the pleasure of going to different kinds of conferences, sitting in front of people that we never thought we would sit in front of. Um, I've even went to HRC behind this organization. I really thank them and appreciate them for putting in the time and the effort to work with me. Hi, I'm here with Dottie and Soul, and I'm here to ask Dottie, how long you been singing? Um, I've been singing since about three or four years old. Okay. How long you been playing, Mr. Soul? I've been playing for a while, since about nine years old. So you're going to sing for us, right? Yes, I am. What are you guys going to sing? Loose to Win by Fantasia. You're going to tear it up? You're going to tear it up on I'm the keyboard? do what I do. Okay. Do do. <laughs> Introducing Soul and Dottie. Ever 
felt so sorry All you did was worry Didn't want nobody Thought it would get better But it's falling more than Oh, it's falling more than ever Cause I just hope that we would Cause you're always up to no good Maybe it'll take someone else Show me better Hey Cause I don't wanna leave ya Hey hey Have you ever Needed someone so bad And he ain't willing to make it last Sometimes you gotta lose To win again Hey if it makes you cry, cry, cry When all you do is fine And you can't get no sleep at night Sometimes you gotta lose To win again Some of you know what it feels like Caught up in his life Don't wanna try again Thinking what's the difference how am i not interested because when you've been broken it feels like no one can fix it so have you ever oh needed someone so bad and he ain't willing to make it last sometimes you gotta lose to win again Thank you, Eagle Access.